So it has come to my attention that a lot of us are dealing with our inner child feeling really uncomfortable in the direction that we're going in as adults um, in our personal lives. So for example, for me, I am a full-time business owner and I have realized that my inner child has a lot of wounds around business and being a business owner because story time, my dad was an owner of a rehab facility, but he was actively using and so little seven-year-old Jess connected being a business owner to lying and hiding. Um, and so now that I'm a business owner myself, I reverted into not lying, but hiding when I was feeling insecure. And also not only that, but um, I was neglected as a child too. Like I was put down a hallway at at you know my parents workplace to basically hide in the hallway for the hours on end and so that communicated to little Jess being seen is not safe you're not supposed to be seen um when you own a business it's lying in hiding and all of this stuff and so i say this all to say if you're experiencing anything like that first of all know that you're not alone and second of all know that you are capable of reaching out to your inner child and recognizing that they are being put in a place that feels deeply uncomfortable and foreign to them, um, being seen, being heard, being independent, being valued, being in charge, fully not what we were ready for. And so reach out to your inner child, have that conversation with them, let them know that they are seen, they are heard, they are safe, attach affirmations. Like, obviously this is me like warp speed working through all of this. If you want to go in depth with me, feel free to reach out um, and book a reading or book anything with me or just DM me. But dude, just talk to your inner child. If you're feeling really uneasy of where you're at in life, know that there are resources out there to help you. And one of those resources is yourself. So talk to your inner child, literally out loud, journal, whatever it feels right for you, voice memo, just speak to your inner child, listen to them, listen to their concerns and comfort them and just, just acknowledge their existence and meet them with love instead of ignoring them or re-traumatizing them. Okay. You're going to be okay. I promise you. I love you.